Prescription drugs are expensive. Some of them generate substantial profits for drug developers and investors. Congress thinks some drugs are too expensive. They acknowledge that drug development is costly. It takes a significant amount of investment to produce a new medicine. They want to cut the best-selling drugs down a bit. But this isn't what investors see when they're first investing in the development of new drugs. We see this, just the seeds of what could be possible. How do investors know which drugs will be viable? Investors have to fund the development of a wide portfolio of drugs to find out which ones are going to be successful. Some are big winners and generate substantial revenues. Other investments result in effective drugs that are modestly profitable. Some investments are disappointments, at least from a financial standpoint, but they still help some patients. For a variety of reasons, these don't recover their development costs, even if they're effective drugs. The rest are failures. These investments don't result in viable treatments. But even with all these disappointments, the entire portfolio is still worth funding. Over the long run, it can generate attractive returns. This incentivizes investors to continue investing in drug development. But what happens if Congress cuts prices on the highest earning drugs? This portfolio now generates low annual returns. It's no longer attractive to investors. They invest elsewhere and no longer fund drug development. Drugs that earn modest profits or don't recover their investments are made possible by drugs that generate more revenue. Old drugs go generic and drop in price, saving society money. This grows our large collection of inexpensive generic drugs, which keep us healthy and out of hospitals, saving even more. It's all possible because of the significant returns of just a few successful drugs that subsidize the entire portfolio of medicines. After cutting the winners down, Congress suggests that investors make up the difference by investing in fewer failures and disappointments. That may sound like a good idea, but we don't know which ones those are. We have to invest to find out.